Good morning, boys and girls. So today we're going to continue talking about inferences. And remember from yesterday, we talked about readers make inferences. We use our, our books or maybe a book you find online or maybe pictures. And then we read what the text says. Then plus what the text means and that equals your inference. So the text gives us clues so that we can make a good inference about um, what the author doesn't always tell us. Well, today, boys and girls, we're going to also talk about how readers make inferences, but they also explain it in writing. Okay, so um, I drew out just kind of a piece of paper on my dry erase board. Okay, and I made like a thinking cloud, okay? That's going to be my inference. I'm going to either draw a picture or write words into the thinking cloud. And then I'm going to explain in writing what helps me come up with that inference. So my sentence starter says, I know, here's my inference because, and then I'm going to explain how I got that inference. So from yesterday, um, I'm gonna hold up this sign and we, uh, Mrs. Holman drew a head, okay? And on the outside, if you remember, we listed the words that I read um, from the story, clothesline clues. And so from yesterday, remember, and I have it up there on the screen too for you to see, um, we have oven mitts. Those were the words I read. Apron, puffy hat, whisk, and recipe. And then those were the words we read. And then in the middle, we decided that he is a chef based on all of those clues. So if we go back, down here where it says the words oven mitts, apron, recipe for stew, puffy hat and whisk, what job does he do? So we're gonna look at, I'm gonna put that down, we're gonna look back up here at the writing part. So boys and girls, we decided that he was a chef. So again, you could just write chef, Maybe you'd want to draw a picture of a chef. I know we've got some good artists out there. Mrs. Holman's kind of, uh, well, you know how I draw. Um, <laughs> so there's my chef. And so down here where we're writing, I know he is a chef because what were some of those clues from my little sign here that helped me know? What was one of those things that really told you that he definitely was a chef? I'll give you, you can either point to my sign. What helped you know that he was a chef right away? Was it the recipe, the whisk, maybe the oven mitt? You know what gave it away for Mrs. Holman right away was the uh, puffy hat. As I'm looking at that picture, um, I have seen chefs wear those big puffy hats. So down here, I'm going to write, I know he is a chef because he has a puffy hat. What else really helped you know that that was a chef? Now yours might be a little bit different than Mrs. Holman's and that's okay, because it's you making the inference. The next clue that I really thought, okay, I really know this is a chef, was that he was wearing an apron. Okay, an apron I know protects clothes from getting dirty and so a chef really needs those aprons because they're cooking a lot. 
He has a puffy, oh, Mrs. Holman forgot hat. And, and, and I'm gonna move my period because I don't wanna put all my words together. Okay, so my writing says, I know he is a chef because he has a puffy hat and an apron. So those really helped me come up with that inference. Okay? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try another one together. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase my chef here. And I'm going to just erase, I'm not gonna erase my sentence starter, that way I don't have to write it over again, but I'm going to erase all of my writing. And then we're gonna try another one, okay? With one of the jobs that we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and underline this again. Okay. And we're gonna turn the page to the next one. Yep, there we go, he is a chef. Let's turn the page. And we talked about this one yesterday, boys and girls. So let's refresh our memory. A smock, beret, and brushes, paints of every hue. Canvas and easel, what job does he do? Okay, so yesterday we talked about this, okay? So what was our inference? He was an what? He was an artist. So I'm gonna go ahead, our inference was artist. Okay. Very good. So I know, I'm gonna go ahead and write my inference again. This is very dark. Shoot. Okay. I know he was an artist, so I'll write that. He is an artist. And Mrs. Holman's going to go off the page a little bit. That's okay. Because, and you know what really gave it away for me really quick is the paints. Of course, if you can look down here at the paints, I know an artist uses paints. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. I know he is an artist because he has paint. All right, and what else gave it away? If you can point to the picture on your screen, I'm, Mrs. Holman can't see, but um, maybe you are thinking one of those things really said that he was an artist to you. And the second thing that I looked at was this smock. I know that, well, especially when Mrs. Holman used to take art when I was little, we'd always wear a smock to keep our clothes, again, protected. So that smock really helped me know that this person's job was to be an artist. So he has paint, a smock, And there was one more thing that really stood out to me. And that was this easel. You know, an easel is something you can lean your paintings up against so that you have some room to work and it's up at eye level. That really helped me know that this person's job was to be an artist. So, and he has paint, smock, and and easel. Okay, so boys and girls, I used my, my words, I used what the text says, I used my thinking to make an inference. So this person was an artist, I know he is an artist because he has paint, a smock, let me put 
a smock, a smock, and an easel. So boys and girls, when you are making inferences in your books, write it down. Write down what you're thinking. And then write down what you know about your thinking. Okay, so this might be a little challenging to practice, but I really want you to try to get a book now. And I want you to spend about 15 minutes on writing down anything that you're thinking about the book. And you can even copy Mrs. Holman's sentence starter. I know because. So I really want you to practice using that reading voice and that thinking voice to make that inference. All right, boys and girls. Thank you for working hard. Have a great day.